Recreating on the beach is a Southern California pastime many locals take for granted. But a recent survey conducted by the Los Angeles County Department of Beaches and Harbors discovered a segment of the population with a very different correlation with Southern California's coastline. For the deaf and hearing impaired, the beach is often associated with fear. You have to imagine that from their perspective, if the lifeguards were going around and telling everybody, get off the beach and everybody's running, the confusion that they're experiencing in that moment. Safety officer Randy Dean has experienced the world of the hearing impaired through his two children who wear hearing aids. As part of the county's yearly risk management plan, he commissioned a survey of more than 500 members of the deaf community. It confirmed his suspicions about barriers to visiting the beach. This is only a test. The survey results prompted development of a system to assist in emergency situations that require immediate evacuation. Such events include tsunami warnings, shark sightings, or terrorist attacks. We were about 100 yards out past the buoy, so we were about 340 yards out. And in the water, when the alarm went off, with the head underwater, you could still hear the alarm. The city of Torrance tested out various speakers for the new system, monitoring the distances at which they were heard. Esto es solo una prueba. The system will trigger strobe lighting and bilingual audio messages for those on the beach and in the water. This frees lifeguards to focus on managing the emergency. Right now, if there's an emergency and the lifeguards need to uh, evacuate the beach or evacuate the water, they have to drive up and down the beach for hundreds of miles to notify them with PA systems. With this system, uh, they can do it at a central location and they can isolate a section of beach or a larger section of beach, depending what the need is. Torrance Beach was selected to launch the new audio and lighting initiative. Eventually, it will be placed at buildings and structures along a 67-mile stretch of L.A. County beaches. This technology will definitely not only help this beach, but all beaches throughout the world. I think this is going to be the genesis of a new way to identify hazards for the hard of hearing on beaches. With testing completed, the system will go live this November with signage that explains various light signals and instructions for each type of incident. The water is the best we have in California, so it's good that it's available to everyone and they feel safe and protected. Safe to enjoy the surf, sand and sun for all it has to offer. For Torn City Cable, I'm Colleen Farrell.